Welcome to practice. Let's begin today in extended child's pose. So make yourself comfortable with your knees wide, your arms long, shoulders relaxed, and take a few slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Make your way to downward facing dog and feel free to pedal out your legs or take any other movement that serves you. As the postures get more intense, remember to relax any unnecessary tension from your eyelids, through your jaw, shoulders and hands, down through your hips to your toes. And when you're ready, walk your feet forward for a ragdoll pose, a deep forward fold near the top of your mat. Separate your feet hip distance or even wider, then bend your knees to release your lower back so you can sink further into the fold. Grab onto your elbows and feel how your breath manipulates this pose. Breathing in and out through your nose so deep that your inhales lengthen your spine and your exhales allow you to fold deeper. Inhales lengthen, exhales deepen. Now adding on for a chest expansion, release your elbows and interlace your hands behind your lower back. If you're feeling a bit tight in your chest and shoulders today, then grab a strap and place it between your hands so that you can physically roll your shoulders open and press your knuckles up towards the ceiling. Find the place that works for you today and trust that if you practice within that range of sensation, your body will respond and over time, you will grow and stretch within your practice. Now release your hands. Toe heel your feet together to touch, or if you're modifying, you can keep your feet hip distance. Slide your hands up your shins and press your heart forward for a halfway lift. The idea here is you want a nice long flat back, roll your shoulders open, pinch your shoulder blades together behind you, press your heart forward, lengthen through the crown of your head, and you'll know that you're doing this posture properly when you feel an opening in your hamstrings. So what you might need to do here is shift your weight forward just an inch or two into the ball mounts of your feet. Do you feel it now? Don't tense up, breathe. Three, two, one. Forward fold. Now with a generous bend in your knees, pull your lower belly in, tuck your chin, and slowly unroll all the way up to standing. When you come all the way up, Reach your arms overhead for a mountain pose. Anchor your weight down through your feet so you can stand tall through the crown of your head. Shoulders stay soft, but your arms are strong. From here, open your arms up to the right as you turn your chin to the right for an open arm twist. The key to this pose is that both of your hip bones are still squared off to the top of your mat. So you're twisting through your shoulders and upper body. Now come back to mountain pose and let's open arm twist to the left. Reach your left arm back, right arm forward, hips stay square to the top of your mat. Then come back to mountain pose. Remember shoulders are soft. For a mini back bend, bend both elbows open like cactus arms and lift up through your heart. Be mindful that your tailbone is still tucked under slightly so you're not overarching through your lower back. You're lifting up through the heart back bending into the upper back. Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Everything is stacked nice and tall. And let's find a fluid motion, one breath, one movement. So inhale here in your mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, stretching and reaching through your shoulders. As you inhale, come back to your mountain pose. Then exhale, open arm twist to your left. Keep your hips square to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, come back to mountain pose. Then mini back bend as you exhale. Bend your elbows open, lift up through your heart. Inhale, back to mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Mountain pose. Open arm twist to the left. Mountain. Mini back bend, lift up. Inhale to your mountain pose. Then bring your hands together at heart center for samastitihi. Find a breath that allows you to be completely and totally present within your body. And maintain that breath as you interlace your hands behind your lower back. Then take your hands to your left side body. So you're wrapping your right arm around behind you. Your left elbow pokes out from your side. Inhale to stand even taller. And as you exhale, lower your left ear towards your left shoulder. You'll feel a gentle opening through your trap. You're welcome to make this a static posture. Just hang out here. Or make it a bit dynamic by lifting and lowering your chin. Noticing any sticky areas that you want to breathe into. Draw your chin back up to center. Then switch sides. Take your hands to your right side body. Right elbow pokes up from your side. Your left arm's wrapped around behind you. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, right ear to your right shoulder. Breathe. And stay still if you did on the other side. Or add a little bit of movement. Notice if you can feel your breath within the sensation. And draw your chin back to center. Release your hands down by your sides. Inhale to mountain pose. Reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Lead with your heart. Bend your knees. Find one more halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins and press your heart forward. And then make your way back into downward facing dog. Now from this downward facing dog, reach your right leg up high. Or a one-legged down dog. Really stretch through your heel. And then bend your right knee and open your hips up just slightly so that your right knee is reaching up towards the ceiling now. Inhale to straighten your right leg once more, reaching through the heel, and as you exhale, step your foot through to a low lunge. Use your core to get your foot all the way through or assist it at this point so that your knee is above your ankle. And with your hands down on the mat, you can always use a block to bring the floor closer to you. Lower your back knee down. Take a breath or two to just sink into your hips. And now for a crescent moon, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Just like in mountain pose though, your shoulders remain soft, your body is long, and your arms are strong. Especially in a posture like this, make sure that both of your legs are engaged as if you are trying to scissor your front ankle and your back knee towards each other. Lower abs are engaged so you can lift out of your hips instead of dumping into your lower back. This could feel great, stay right here. Otherwise, feel free to add a little bit of a side bend by grabbing onto your left wrist and adding just a little bit more length to your left side body. Now, wherever you are, bring your hands together at heart center. 
Inhale, lengthen out of your hips. Exhale, twist to the right, revolved crescent moon. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. You're always welcome to modify with your left hand down to the mat, right arm high. Now from here, pull your belly in and inhale to lengthen your spine even more. Exhale to twist through your shoulders, through your gaze. Then feel your breath and all the sensation within this twist. Three, two, one. Lower both hands down to the mat for Hanumanasana prep or splits prep. With your back knee down, shift your hips back so your right leg straightens out. Traditionally, your right toes flex towards you, but today let's try something a little bit different. Point your toes. Imagine you are trying to get the pad of your big toe to touch the mat. Ooh, you're gonna feel a very intense sensation in the front of your right ankle. Breathe and relax. Try not to tense up with it. Similar to your halfway lift, you wanna keep your spine nice and long so you're not just curling over your leg here. So if you need to, place your hands on your blocks or even just walk your hands back and lift up a little bit higher so that you can lengthen out of your hips and then hinge from your hips to go deeper into the pose. And go even millimeters deeper with each exhale. Now walk your hands forward as you bend your right knee, then lift your back knee up off the mat for a low lunge. Drive through your back heel as you lengthen through the crown of your head and press your heart forward with broad shoulders. Now straighten your right leg and fold your body over your right leg for an even more intense hamstring opener. You're always welcome to step your back foot in a couple of inches, that's okay. Relax your neck, jaw, eyebrows, and eyelids, and fold deeply. Great. Bend your right knee with your hands planted on the mat, make your way back to downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal it out before we switch sides. When you're ready, reach your left leg high and reach through your left heel. Then bend your left knee as you open up your hips, reaching your left knee up towards the ceiling. Inhale to reach your left leg straight, lengthening all the way through the heel. Exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Come all the way through so your knee is stacked over your ankle. Then lower your back knee down. Take a few deep breaths to just sink into your hips. For crescent moon, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and maintain an engagement through your legs and hips so that you're lifting up.
and engaging your lower abs while you do so should allow you to feel an intense sensation of release and opening in your right hip flexor. If you added a little side bend on the other side, make sure you do so here. Find the range of sensation that you can still breathe into. You still have a level of control over how relaxed you are, so you're not defensively tensing up. Wherever you are, bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale to lengthen heart towards your thumbs. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee and stay wide through your shoulders. Always modify if you do it on the other side. Now pull your belly off your thigh and inhale to lengthen even more and exhale to twist just a little deeper. Thumbs coming closer to your heart center. For three, two, one. Release both hands down onto the mat for Hanumanasana prep. Shift your weight back as you straighten out your left leg Go ahead and point your left toes as if you were trying to get the pad of your left toe to touch the mat. And remember that you want to create lift out of your hips to lengthen your spine, folding that long spine over your leg instead of just crunching forward. As intense as this sensation is, focus that much more on your breath. And if you need to back out, it's totally okay to come out even just a few millimeters. Work within that range of sensation that you can breathe into, using your breath to create length and depth. So you're totally focused and present within this pose. Great. Walk your hands forward and plant them on both sides of your front foot as you lift your back knee off the mat for a low lunge. Engage your body. Press through your back heel as you lengthen through the crown of your head. Your heart is open, shoulders are strong, breath smooth and deep as you feel a sensation in your right hip. And now straighten your front leg and feel free to step your back foot in a couple extra inches. Hinge from your hips to fold your long spine over your left leg, breathing into the intense sensation in the back of your left hamstring, perhaps in the front of your left ankle. Three, two, one. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Cuddle out your legs. Notice any difference in sensation between this down dog and the first one of your practice. And when you're ready, settle into child's pose. Completely relax. And that's it for today's 20 minute yoga practice. Thank you for joining me on the mat and have a good day.